the one for you is really cultivated to some extent to become the ideal one for you. Now, what do I mean by that? Well, we all have expectations for the person we seek to compliment us and become that one, you know. We have this mental image of how that person looks and a well-thought-out list of the qualities we expect them to have and bring to the relationship. I mean, that's what we think, right? Well, one thing to keep in mind is to not be too fixed in one's mindset about what this person might look like or how old they are or what they do for a living or where you might find him or her. The reason is, the one for you might be someone you might never have guessed was really your potential mate. As in, this one for you just popped out of nowhere and does something. Maybe they do for a career or they have certain talents or interests, commonalities that you never would have imagined would complement yours. Because you see, relationships are so deep and they're so powerful. It's important to know how to cultivate and nurture them, or at least cultivate yourself and be open to someone who has also cultivated themselves. So that when you two eventually meet, whoa, I, you know, I know this might not be the one for me, but you know, I'm just going to take a little peek inside. I'm just going to spend a little time. I'm going to run through some of these scenarios and questions and Q and A's that Bart's kind of talked to me about and, and all this, this great wisdom. I'm going to, you know, let's sit down and talk for a bit. Tell me about yourself. Because you see, relationships, again, they're deep. They're powerful. Chemistry, commonality. It's like gasoline and fire. You put them together. Whoa, huge oh, blaze of bonfire. Passion. Because at first glance, that someone you picture might not meet up with this prospective life mate sitting right in front of you, but know that the one will and can be developed over time, either, like I said, in your presence or before you even meet them. So first, yeah, go along for the ride to see where that road takes you. Where does it lead? What can you observe? What can you see happening? Mm. And also be open to meeting people you might not think could be the one for you, but actually, they turn out to be the one for you. So, cultivation, maturity, growth, compatibilities, the one for you. You may have somebody in mind. You may have this vision. Oh, they got to be this. They got to be that. They got to be... No, 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 no. It's okay to entertain yourself with those fantasies. But reality sets in when the true one for you just pops into your life. Taps your shoulder and says, hi, excuse me. Um, is anyone sitting here? Do you mind if we uh, talk a while? You know, I've seen you around a lot. I wondered if I could introduce myself and maybe we can get some coffee and talk. Get to know each other. I could tell you what I do, the things I'm into, what I'm looking for. And if anything kind of interests you, well, we can take the conversation further and talk some more. How would you like that? See how that works? So, keep an open mind. The one for you may not be exactly who you think, but when you look through the assets and the talents, compatibilities, commonalities, all the things that can help enhance your life, because that's what we're looking for. You know, you're out there in the deep blue sea with all the sharks and piranhas, you know, the crazies out there, and somebody comes into your world to say, hey, Take my hand. I got you. I can pull you out of that mess. And you don't have to be in it anymore. In fact, we can work on some of the things that you're working on right now. And as a team, as a dating unit, a relationship unit, oh, we can get things done so much faster because we're not having to wait for this or that. Or, you know, that is if, like, for example, you're both entrepreneurs and you work from home and you do whatever it is that you do. But your talents when combined. It's like they say, when you're on your own, you're a one. 
You know, you're one person. You're on your own. You're a one. But when you team up with someone and you become a unit and you become one, well, that one plus one doesn't equal two. The one plus one becomes an 11. And an 11 is so much more powerful than a one. You just have so much more going for you. Anyhow, you know, whew. all right, hey, you're doing great. I hope this gave you a little bit of insight as to the one for you is really cultivated to some extent to become the ideal one for you. And sometimes that needs to be given time to occur.